let us consider a white glass paint based on all kit resin system. Let me give you the components, its function and density along with the amount present in the paint. Component and let me explain the function of each component. Then its density in gram per ml and then the amount present in gram. As well. All kit resin so we have worked out as a 50% solid so when I say 50% solid means that is if I take uh, 100 ml it contains 50 gram by weight the solid part of all kit the remaining 50 percent is used for made up uh, or making up of the resin using suitable thinner thinner is the combination of solvent so we have to consider only the solid part so this all kit acts as binder and its a density density is nothing but mass by volume that is weight by volume so 0.91 so it means when i take 1000 gram it will have 1000 volume 1000 ml it will have 0.91 gram okay so that is 91 gram 910 gram in 1000 ml of the solution so that gives you 0 0.91 density and uh, so i have taken the weight as 60.1 in gram and as the second part the paint contains titanium dioxide that is the white pigment and it has the density 4.2 and 25.2 is the weight taken and then we have other solvents so the solvent is around and its specific rate is 78.78 it means I have taken 11.7 gram and I have taken other additives So that is uh, 3 gram. Okay. So let us add all these. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 7, 10 balance 1. 4, 5, 10 balance 1. 2, 4, 6. So 100%. 100 is the total, the weight. Okay. Now, uh, for the calculation purpose of uh, that is pigment volume concentration and pigment binder let us ignore the additives because it occupies the very least portion so for the total 100 grams of the paint the titanium is uh, that is 60 is it not 60.1 so we are interested to find out the volume so how to calculate the volume of this one now weight by volume density is equal to rho that is density is equal to weight by volume so we are interested in calculating the volume therefore w by rho so we are going to calculate the volume of the pigment okay let us call it vp that is volume of pigment 
that is Vp. So the Vp is equal to the weight of the pigment divided by the density of the pigment. Here the weight of the pigment is 25, is it not? 25.2 gram divided by density. Density of the pigment is 4.2. Let us say 4.2. So, gram per ml. Okay. So, now let us work out 20.25.2 divided by 4.2 gives 6.00. We can take. So, 6.00 and the gram can be cancelled now it is in ml so volume of pigment is equal to 6 ml this can be given in cubic centimeter also because 1 cc is equal to 1 ml that is 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter ok and uh, uh, it doesn't contain any filler is it not so the volume of filler is nil here ok and then let us go ahead with the volume of the binder Vb that is volume of the binder so what is the formula we already know that is the density is equal to weight by volume therefore volume is equal to W by D so here VB is equal to that is the weight of the uh, binder divided by the density of the binder so that is equal to weight of the binder is we have taken 60.1 gram so 60.1 gram divided by density is 0 0.91 ok 0 0.91 so in that case we had to consider the pure alkene ok so if we go like this So if we go like this, it will lead to a problem. Why? Because this is 50% solid as a resin. So in that case, you have to consider only the solid content. It means the weight, I mean the solid content of solid content of the resin is equal to 50 percent so when I take 60.1 I have to consider 50 percent of the solid only therefore 60.1 divided by 2 is it not 60.1 divided by 2 so I have to consider only 30.05 as the weight of the binder solid binder ok and the density I cannot take this one so I should approach the uh, that is supplier and ask him the density of the resin usually it is given in the range of uh, say 1.1 gram per ml ok so 1 point the density the density of pure alkyd resin resin is 1.1 gram per ml so this is the normal uh, density of any alkyd system okay so in that case i have to use 
only this density. Now we can once again calculate volume of binder is equal to the weight of resin. Weight of resin we have calculated 30.05 divided by you have to consider this density only not this density. So 1.1 gram per ml and this is gram. So you can cancel. Now you have to calculate the 30 point 30.05 divided by 1.1 that gives 27.32 okay 27.32 ml do you understand so this is the volume of binder so we have calculated two important aspects one is volume of the volume of the pigment another is volume of the binder based on that we can obtain the pigment volume concentration okay so what is the pigment volume the pigment volume is 6 cubic centimeter is it not 6 cubic centimeter and the volume the pigment uh, I mean volume binder Binder volume is 27.32 cubic centimeter. Okay. Now you can work out the PVC. Now what is the formula for PVC? The formula for PVC is volume of pigment plus volume of other extenders or fillers divided by volume of pigment plus volume of fillers plus volume of binder into 100 and this is given as percentage so here vf is equal to 0 because it doesn't contain any filler therefore we can further modify the formula as vp divided by vp plus vb into 100 so this is the final formula now we will work out the pigment volume concentration. Uh, what is the pigment volume? 6 ml divided by 6 plus 27.32 into 100. Okay. So it means 600 divided by 33.32. So that is equal to, let us work out. Six hundred divided by thirty three point three two. So it means eighteen point zero one percent. So eighteen point zero one percent. So this is the pigment volume concentration of this paint, white paint. That is eighteen point zero one percentage so this is the way you had to calculate and based on the percentage you will come to know that it belongs to gloss paint category Do you understand so this is the way you had to calculate the pigment volume concentration okay so uh, usually for high glossy paints it uh, ranges from 15 to 25 so this is 18 therefore this belongs to high glossy white top coat okay